What's up guys, Graham here. Today we're going to be playing some Evil Bane and we're going to do some of the PvP so that you guys can see exactly what goes on with that. And we're going to do a little bit of the guild combat as well as the arena combat. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's do the guild combat first because this is actually what isn't as interactive. You kind of just have your guilds battle each other and then you, you can buff up your guys a little bit each round and you guys will see what I'm talking about just shortly. So let's go ahead and go into the guild battle. And whenever you participate in stuff like this, as you can see, there are daily rewards. There's uh, a weekly reward up there as well that's going to reset in a day and seven hours from now, uh, which would really give me lots of good stuff. Usually it's the crystals. As you can see at the top, I got uh, 212 crystals right now. And you can use these in order to buy lots of things in the game, such as more gold, uh, even heavenstone runs and stuff like that. So it's very, very cool to have lots of those gems and uh but we're going to get right into this guild battle here now as you can see the team that i'm on i've kind of uh jumped teams quite a bit because i've found out that if you stay on a weaker team you're just not going to help anything i mean you may help them win a little bit more but you're hindering yourself so much uh in or uh, in order to show loyalty towards a uh, a weak group or something so the best thing to do is try to find a guild that actually has lots of top ranked people such as level 40s as you can see we got tons of level 40s right here and I'm one of them as well I have just recently hit level 40 myself and I've got all uh, level 30 uh, mythic gear for the most part uh, let's go ahead and I'm not going to buff my guys up because I tried to save my gold. I'm still trying to farm gear and stuff. So I'm burning gold all the time. Uh, I don't want to spend it on this. And also my team tends to be a little bit stronger than the other teams because of the level advantage. As you can see the other team here, we got one level 40 and the rest are level 30s and even a level 29. So they're not really going to stand much of a chance against my guys. And mind you, you want to win. Whenever you play games like this, you want to win. So showing loyalty towards a guild that you don't even know the people or anything, it's not worth it in this particular game. So let's go ahead and start this. You probably won't see my character fight in this particular match because I'm the third battle that happens. All right, we're going to increase our attack power right off the bat. So this is our first string of guys. Uh, all these level 40s on my team are just smashing the enemy team right now. And these guys will most likely win all three matches. So it'll go through all three strings of their guys and beat all nine of them with just our first three a lot of times. Sometimes they'll go to the second string, but usually not so much. And I've tested this out a lot going from like increased attack to decreased damage to uh, increased crit rate. And it seems like increasing attack rate is always seeming to work out better for me. Uh, they say that if it's a particular thing, like if you have a lot of the uh, Vargos guys that are going to do a lot of crit damage to always increase critical uh, rate, uh, but it doesn't seem to work that way for me, man. Uh, getting the attack power has always worked out the best for me. Okay, we're down to our last guy, but our guy is going to completely demolish this level 29 and we're going to win all three rounds with just our first three guys here see look at that there is no reason to stay on a weak guild it, you always want to find a strong guild and go with this all right so easy win i think it's uh so far me being in this particular guild has been easy wins altogether, and there are spots left in this guild if anybody wants to join it uh, I do kind of recommend you get up in the levels before you try to join a guild like this because, um, you know, to be an asset to the team as well. But you could probably join as a lower level and just kind of mooch off of the stronger people. So we're going to go our next round here and let's see, we got one level 40 guy on the opposite team. It, is this the same team? Yes, it is. We're fighting the exact same guys. What is going on here? All right, so yeah all right so this is going to be an easy win once again let's go ahead and smash through these guys right fast increase attack power right at the beginning oh 
Boom. Man, such easy wins. You gotta love it. Alright, and the guild is called Boston One, if you guys are interested in joining it. Now, there are multiple servers on this game, so uh, I may not be on your server nor my team, so if you don't get the chance to join my particular guild here, then uh, I'm sorry about that, but there are multiple servers and you may not be on the same server as I am. Alright, so all three of our guys are live and their final string of people are up now. Let's go ahead and increase attack power. Oh. Some uh oh. They got two guys alive and we got our last level 40 and they got a level 37, so it may actually they may actually take down my guy here. No, it's like it was just playing. <laughs> Yeah, that level 37 was actually kind of worrying me a little bit there because sometimes people get really strong at level 37 uh, or higher 30, should I say. Uh, a lot of people won't really try to uh, min-max on this game and they'll just pour all of the resources into getting their gear the best that they can get it uh, as fast as they can get it. And it doesn't really pan out like to be an amazing set in-game, but it's... It gets a lot better than people that took the time to actually get their gear uh, perfectly set. Uh, a prime example of that is I'm kind of farming around for uh, gear with uh, crit rate on it so I'll actually critical hit more and also I'm trying to get a secondary stat of critical damage and I'm only getting it for berserker gear which is uh, a high crit uh, critical damage gear set and uh, since I'm doing that and I'm trying to fish around for those particular items, uh, the people that are just pouring all of their resources into the first piece of gear that they get, they're leveling up their gear faster than I am, so they're stronger than me from the get-go. But once I get mine leveled up to where theirs is, my gear is going to be better because I actually fished around for the right stats. Okay, so this is going to be uh, a little bit longer of a thing here with the arena combat because we have it set right now to where, well, actually the, the uh, uh, stamina, I guess you can call it, uh, resets faster than the arena runs. So it, it doesn't take long at all for you to get all five of your charges back here to where we can fight five ar arena battles uh, just straight in a row. Now, something that should be said about my character is the gear that I have uh, initially is all life leech stuff. I'm trying to get really good dungeon gear. That way I can farm through that stuff. But that makes it to where I'm not as strong in the arena right now. And uh, But I can still hold my own for the most part but uh people that are going for all crit gear or something like that without life leech is probably going to be able to one shot me at times if they critical hit right and they got enough crit damage to it let's go ahead and look at my uh, my uh, character stats let's see here okay if we look at my details here we see that uh well let me show you my gear my gear is all level 30 mythic gear so whenever you look at it you see i have life steal in there and then whatever stats happened after that i didn't care it was just trying to get the life steal stuff for the dungeon runs because if you don't have life steal things can just nickel and dime uh damage to you and eventually you're going to die you only get five potions per dungeon run so if you have really good life steal gear you'll you'll stay alive you can beat these dungeons well the thing is is you don't really life leech much in pvp so whenever you go into something like this and you look at my crit rate it's only 12 percent because uh the gear that i have on right now that i've actually got to level 30 does not have hardly any crit rate to it and it doesn't have crit damage to it so i've only got 150 percent crit damage uh now somebody else that actually are are wearing like berserker gear is going to have like 500 percent critical damage or something higher than that possibly there are really high rates uh as you can see over here on the right you'll see that i'm farming up this uh mythic uh berserker gear and it all has crit rate but i'm still farming around trying to find where it has crit rate and crit damage to it 
and uh, then I'll use all this gear here that I'm I'm getting to mythic to to level break it to go to level 32 and such okay so let's go ahead and go back and go to the PvP uh, that we're going to be doing okay now I don't use any of the buffs for this like I said if I really was trying to get really high rank in PvP I would use the buffs be able to take more damage do more damage stuff like that but in all reality I I'm trying to save up money I'm trying to get my uh, berserker gear uh, all lined out I'm trying to level up the lower berserker gear to see if it gets the right stats okay so this is a level 39 person and man this person probably put uh, all of their stuff into the first set of gear that they have so their gear may outdo mine right now let's see okay we're going to try to play it safe and run in and let oh well I got hit by that. We're going to try to make them use up all of their abilities first. Because it is a computer character there. Okay, there goes the big ability. And now time for us to use ours. Oh man, look, it didn't do hardly any damage. Oh man, we're going to have to run. So we hit them with everything we had. And we're at the same health. With, with that person only hitting me with normal attacks because they used all of their big attacks oh man man no 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 whoa oh you've got to be kidding me no no i lost it at the last second man oh i thought i had that See, it's games like that to where, you know, if they hit me with any of their big stuff or anything like that, they could possibly just demolish me whenever I've got lifesteal gear on. Um, but if I had crit gear, I would be able to critical hit them and bring them down. But the, the gear that I have at Mythic is only level 1 Mythic. So I'd have to get up to level, th uh, level 30 Mythic for it to be really effective. All right, so I should have looked at that person's gear because they completely just owned me up. Everything I hit them with all of my big abilities and didn't do, I mean, did about half of their uh, life's damage. And they hit me with normal attacks and took me out. So, yeah, imagine if they would have hit me with their special attacks. Okay, so this is uh, the character Luke. There's three main characters that you can play, and there, theirs is Luke that they're playing, which is like a good character all around. It can do about everything. It's got a, a set of gear that has a set bonus of life still, which no other, uh, the Van Goghs and uh, the, the other ones just don't have the life still gear like that. We got to hope to get a secondary stat of it. And uh, Luke actually gets it in a set gear and also has tons of other good options. So Luke is definitely the way to go for a beginner usually. But I wanted the damage of the Van Goghs. Alright, so we're going to change up strategy and go right in with our big attack. Let's auto run in. Boom. Oh, that didn't go good. That didn't turn out. Okay, let's try to hit him with this. Oh, no. Ah, ran away. I was hoping he'd continue to run into me there. Okay, we gotta wait for our big abilities to come back up because this guy uh, obviously is uh, a little bit better geared than me. And Okay, we got him. We got him. Good job, yes. Finally get a win. Uh oh. The camera's not panning around to my guy to celebrate the win. No, and whenever I lose, it shows me weeping on the ground. But once I win, the camera offsets and goes somewhere else. Doesn't show me uh, doing my victory dance. How do you like that? All right, so let's go ahead and do the next match here. We got three more stamina points that we can use in the arena here. I can't wait till I get my Berserker gear worked up. Can't wait. Well, I got to find the right combo. I have not found the right combination yet for any of my gear so far. I get lots of uh, Berserker gear with crit raid on it, but I don't get the, uh, the crit damage to follow afterwards. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh. 
I completely was talking and not paying attention. Oh, luckily it wasn't too hard of a person. It didn't make me pay for my mistake there. But here I go up and use my big ability that locks me into that spot to where I can't get away. And he uses his big ability at the same time. And most likely his gear is going to be more geared towards uh, crit hitting me and stuff. Whereas mine is lifesteal. And lifesteal doesn't do uh, anything good in PvP really. Alright, so we got a win there. So far we're 55 wins, 22 losses. Because man, those losses are to people that just completely just one shot me sometimes even with level 30 mythic gear if they've got their stuff uh tuned towards critical hit and critical damage a lot of times man it's just game over for me and especially if they got limit broke like up to level 40 gear okay or okay he should have a charge effect with the shield no? Ah, oh, I guess the wrong type of gear. Alright, let's try to tear into him now. Ah, oh, he keeps running away, man. You're supposed to be a dumb computer. And what I'm doing is I'm fighting against other people's characters, but it's the computer controlling them, so... You usually can outsmart the computer, but... You know, whenever you just hit an ability and it automatically dodges it, it's like, you're cheating, man. You're a cheating computer. Your reaction time is down to the millisecond or faster, whatever it is. Completely uh, outdoes me. Okay, so if you get three consecutive wins, you get a treasure chest. And it could be anything. Yeah, well, I'm uh, sure it's a limited amount of things that it can be. But it, a lot of times it's an extra potion. A lot of times it's gold. Oh, uh, yeah, we got three potions there. Not bad. You can use potions in PvP. I tend to uh, try to avoid them because I still got dungeons that I'm trying to beat. And I usually use my potions in the dungeons. So, Alright, so we got our last match here. Let's see how we do. Can we, can we wrap this up and not lose our final match? Hopefully we can pull this off. Okay, level 36 guy. Uh, most likely we're going to be able to take him. We're going to just run right into this and try to take him out. Okay, we got to do some avoiding here. He took our big hit and really didn't die or anything, so we got to uh, try to avoid his big hits if we can. Oh... Did I dodge that? I didn't notice if I hit it fast enough. Okay, we're going to do our finisher. Yes, pulled off the win. Yes. Final match, we take it. Turned out really well. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Evil Bane. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Uh, man, this game is a lot of fun. If you guys have not tried it, make sure that you download it on your phone or your tablet and give it a try. The graphics are amazing for a mobile game and it's just a lot of fun overall. And it, so far I've been playing it for a month and a half, maybe two months, something like that. And there's just never ending amount of updates and things to do in this game. Like, it, let me go ahead and show you since, uh... I'm kind of talking about it. If we go to the dungeons here, we will see that, uh, let's go to the world map. Whenever I first started the game a month and a half, two months ago, there was that uh, Materna, uh, Matera region. And shortly afterwards, they introduced the Shore Cliff. So that was just when I started a month and a half or two months ago. Since then, they've added this ravine, Shadow Harbor, gloomy temple and look there's tons of areas that they can go to they are constantly up, upgrading this game and whenever i first started the max level was 30 and now you can get your character to level 40 which is exactly where i'm at right now as you can see my level 40 character and they've added lots of other stuff like relics and new gear and 
I mean, tons and tons of things, new raids, all kinds of stuff to do. So make sure that you give it a try. As usual, guys, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.